Hello, so we're working with a little vehicle that I put together here, which is just the main controller box and two servos attached to the main controller box and then wheels attached to the servos. Just want to get some programming with servos. So simple thing is get uh, two movements, servo one, servo two, one's moving clockwise, one's moving counterclockwise. Um, do students really know clockwise, counterclockwise? That clockwise is turning this direction and counterclockwise is turning that direction. And why do they have to be, what happens when the code says they're moving opposite direction? So let us see. If I press play, what did we expect it to do? Did we expect it to go forward? Now there's a little slipping with the wheels. Um, so it doesn't move great on my table. It doesn't move great on my floor either. And I don't have carpet um, and a big enough space to play with it that much. So now let's flip these around. And what would you expect to happen if one and two now went the opposite way? So there we go. Now, what happens if we make them be the same direction? Let's make them both be clockwise. I don't know. Let's see. All right, so we made them both be clockwise. They went that way. Now let's go counterclockwise. What would you expect to happen? Why is a good thing? Okay, and now what if we make speeds different? I don't know. Let's try it. Did we still get a tight turn? Not quite so tight, right? Okay. And then back to having them be opposite. and different. Uh, what's going to happen here? Uh, we're running back. That one makes us running backwards in turn. See how it kind of turned? Again, there's a little bit of slipping with the wheels. got to do something with, maybe put a rubber band on the wheels, especially if we've got some nice thick rubber bands. Um, but the, yeah, the wheels seem kind of like smooth. Um, so having different numbers for the speeds you know, gets, gets us some arc to it. One setup would have the arc going backwards. And another setup should have the arc going forwards. Yeah, yeah. So it's turning. It's just now we have an arc instead of that uh, zero point turn kind of thing. So there's uh, some of the things to play with. And this is running them as a uh, continuous rotation servo. Um, and that would be block two and block three. The difference between block two and block three is literally just block three uses words instead of um, percents. Block one is about turning a servo to a certain angle. Just turn it to that angle and stay there. So that's not how we would drive, but that's how we would do, um, let's say a, a, a toll, toll booth, a toll gate. So there's some ideas on servos, enjoy.